So is that um can I ask a question? So is that the, the purpose of the profile um page right? I think so you can go in and change it. I'm I'm just asking for my own information. This is not to say whether it's right or wrong, or you get I'm just okay. asking the purpose of the profile page is is so that we can go and maintain our details, right? Yeah, so yeah. that students okay. should be able to update yeah. it. Nice, mm -hmm. edit or delete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. So, but at this stage, you've already logged in, so you signed, uh, uh, you signed into your account, and you now land on the student your individual um um, um like account. You know, so you you you've moved from the initial landing page to your own personal, um um student page, isn't it? Okay, yeah. so when I log into my account and I am able to view the site navigation uh, panel. So the only thing I, I can, I would add, although it, it's not really like, it's just a small, I mean, it's if you're being picky, really. So when I log into my account, when you log in, what happens? You are redirected, isn't it? To your, uh, maybe like your students, I don't know what you call that page. Do you understand? So, so for me, I would say after that when I would say, so given I'm a prep major student, when I log into my account and I am redirected to my um I don't know, uh personal the... student page, something, call it something, and no. I am able to view the site navigation panel. Do you understand? So everything else is fine. I'm just saying, like if you are give you know this acceptance criteria, okay. the testers. Sorry, did you want to say something? <laughs> no, I don't know. What I wanted to say is that the account you are logging in, the account you created already is for the students. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, you created an account for the student, but you are logging yeah. in from the landing page, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. So oh, when you log okay. in from the landing page, so do you get what I mean? So uh, you are trying to follow the process step by step because depending on the test, so at the very basic, you know, at the very basic level or at the very minimum, right? The testers will mm -hmm. be going through um they'll be following this thing step by step by step by step. You understand? So if you're dealing with testers and developers that have been working for years, they already know, okay, um, you will get on the design application. To get on the design application panel, you have to first of all log in. You understand? But yeah. if you want to really break everything down, so nobody's asking you question upon question, right? You want to break it down to the barest minimum as in you want to the level of uh, how do you call it now granularity you know would be really small so you yeah, have broken down the steps into tiny tiny steps like when they do the, when you do this what happens when you do this what happens you understand so okay i don't have a problem with this story at all you get i'm just saying yeah. that it can be better if you insert that so after the and, when, yeah. yeah so just create a new line okay. everything leave everything else right it's fine so just create a, a, a and and I am you know redirected to my I don't know what you call that page now like, just call it whatever as in you know but you know it's my like personalized a, a, so you can see account is it thank you yeah uh no so well it's a page isn't it I, I don't know say when I log into my account you know what at the end of the day is this not even duplication. But when you log into your account, you are redirected to a certain page, isn't it? Yeah, when you log mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. you yeah, are. And I know that you are redirected your, to a page. I just don't know what to call that page. That is your. Mm -hmm. That should be your. Is so, should we say students? Um, I don't know. Let's. I don't know. Students, I understand what you are trying to say. But... Mm -hmm. You can call it anything, right? You can make up a name for it, right? And we have that shared understanding that that's where you are going to land on. Okay, because there's no designated name for that page at the moment. So, so on the last in the last and before then, and I am redirected to my profile page. Mm. What do you think about okay? That? So hold on, let's 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 do this again. No, no, that, that profile page is different. Okay. Because you click on the profile icon. So let's work it. It's, Let's let's walk through it again. Given I'm a prep major student, when I log into my account and I'm redirected to say say my student page, something like that. Just put that and let's move on. Okay. okay. You're missing the toe as well. 
and I'm redirected to my student page. You haven't put it to before you save. <laughs> and I'm redirected to okay. Uh -huh. So redirected to my student page. Let's just call it that, right? And yeah. I'm able to view the site navigation panel, okay? okay? And I click on the profile icon. Yeah. Uh, and I'm redirected to my uh, profile page. Profile then page. I should be able to edit my profile. Uh, profile page. Uh, um, so what do you want to be able to do? You want to be able to view your profile and edit it, eh? Yes. So 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 before you even go to editing it, you should be able to view it, isn't it? Yes. And I'm redirected to my profile page. And I can view my details. Mm -hmm. Apologies. Then I, I should be able to. Uh -huh. View. Should we you use view and view. edit? You know I'm changing that to view. Because I've just seen that under your additional information, you said the student must be able to edit. Yeah. So let's leave it as view. You get. So okay. divide it. So it will be a complete story by the time you add a uh, put on the additional information. So then I should be able to view my profile, maybe details. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. my, or my personal details, whatever. Uh, yeah, profile details, fine. Okay. Now you now put this other additional information to say the student must be able to edit the following. Da 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 once the user clicks on the save changes button, a message must appear at the bottom of the screen stating account has successfully updated. No, 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 I'm not okay. Because I immediately went to the toilet and Angela. Yeah, they'll meet their mom. Their mom is there. Oh, okay. Can I just go back and tell Angela that I'm going? Just wait. That's fine. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Um. So, uh, there, 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 once. Exactly. Okay, so that's fine. I think that is so I am just going to ask you because I can't quite remember the layout and how it works, right? You're sure that this is what happens, right? So if you click on save changes, you see a message. Yes. Mm, that will say account as all right. Okay, that's fine. Then that's uh the story is fine. The only thing I would ask now is you've talked about a profile page. Do we have um um a wireframe here? No, she tossing. She will do it tomorrow. That's fine. So put put yeah. a comment there. Let's not just leave it like that, okay? So if it was a, if it was in the real, let me say real world. If it was outside blue sky, right? You know. Yeah. Now we've talked about it, right? You will not just leave it like that because it wouldn't be my word against your. Do you get like you always need to yeah. have records. Uh, Good evening. I'm going. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to make you calls um oh. for the GA session. Okay. Yeah. So, no. so that you are able to record and then send to us. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I think it's currently recording. Um, yeah, I was recording in another breakout room. That's why he's saying it's recording. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to assign you. And I think right. they're already in their DA room. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me go back to the break room. Um, Okachuku, please join the BA break room. Uh, where are we going? Um, the DA room is already created. Um, just... Should I join it? Yes, please. DA room, okay. Known people there. So the next screen is the next the next screen is privacy policy. All right. And the user story states 
as a prep major student, yeah. I want to read the privacy policy so yeah. that I will Hello? know Hello? how my personal. Yeah, I've done it. So she has gone into DMV. Yeah. Sorry, can you please mute? Um, I don't, I'm not sure who that is. Um, okay, so you were saying, yeah. Okay, as a prep major student, I want to yeah. read the privacy policy so yeah. that I will know how my personal information is used and protected. That's um, really good. Okay, cool. Acceptance criteria. Mm -hmm. Given that I'm a prep major student, when yep. I scroll down to the bottom of the footer website mm -hmm. and I click on the privacy policy at the bottom of the footer yep. and I am directed to read the privacy policy and I should be able to accept or reject the policy. Uh, hold, hold, then, on, hold, on. Um, hold on, wait. Sorry, you know, because I can't see it. Um, right. So you said, you said, I say, I'm following you and imagining it in my head now. So you said, please start again, read the first two lines. There's something I, I don't... Given that I'm a prep major student, yep. when I scroll to the bottom of the footer... Okay, so that, and... that's, where I have, that's where I have an issue with. Okay. Then when I scroll to the bottom of the footer... The footer so, website, so, yeah. so, 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 so No, no. So let, let's, let's review it now. So given I'm a prep major student, so yeah, I could be a prep major student. Okay. okay? When I scroll to the bottom of the footer, footer of what? Number one. Number two. Is the footer not at the bottom of somewhere? Do you as the like okay footer to, of so where is the where is the footer even? Do you get where is the footer? The footer is at the bottom of the website. Um what website? The footer is in the landing page. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Do you get what? <laughs> yeah. So so your story should be given I am a uh, okay. Whatever uh -huh. When I am on the prep major blah, 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 landing page. Yeah, when I scroll to the bottom uh, of the footer in the landing no, page. Wait, oh, oh. Wait, oh. No, wait, wait. You now skip. I should have supplied one uh, line for you. You want to do <laughs> <laughs> I said, so when you, so, you're yeah, a student, fine. Okay, so you have yes. to do this. Uh -huh. Okay, now, because if, it, you know, you know, you can even scrap that given that I'm a student, because it's not only students that have access to it, but you know what? It's fine. It includes, because anybody that goes to that website, yeah, it's so true. Like, if you scroll down, you will see okay, that. Okay, given that I'm a prep a prep major user. Thank you. Uh -huh. Then, uh -huh, the next line, uh, let me hear what you now change to. When I scroll to the, when I scroll to the bottom of when I scroll to the bottom of the landing page, I should. <laughs> when I you know, no, no, bottom... no, you're not wrong, eh? you're not wrong, but it can be clearer. So that's why I said we can split it in two, right? You're not All wrong. Right. So, but I would rather say, given I'm a yeah, prep major user, like you said, I will not say, and I am on the. Well, okay, you said prep major user. When I'm so on the landing that, page. So, so, so that yeah, so that indicates if you say prep major user, that means you're actually a prep major. Right? Okay. Yeah. So there are two there are two ways you can do it. Actually. Let's not overthink this. You can say, even I'm a prep major user. And I am on the you can leave the when till later. And I am on the prep major landing page. Yeah? Okay. When I scroll down, you understand, to the bottom of the page. You know? Okay. When I scroll because down you were to saying, the when bottom I scroll to of the, the bottom of the footer. But the foot is already at the bottom anyway. You get what I mean? So yeah. Yep. All right. So let's correct that now. So which which way are you going? So give give me that I'm a prep major user, right? Uh -huh. Yes. What's your next line? Sorry, you know um, I can't see. So I can't. I don't know. So what yeah. are you changing? So what's the second line? The second line wanted me to add and and, and I am on and, the landing page. On the landing page. <laughs> yeah. I'm on, and I'm on the landing page. Don't just say on the landing page. Yeah, you can say I'm on the landing page, but if you want to be really precise, what I'm trying to encourage us to do eh, is to be very as precise as possible or as clear as possible. You understand? So if you say landing page, I mean, everybody knows that it's very major one you're talking of. But if you want to be clearer, you can state it so that beyond... And a reasonable doubt, everyone knows that you're talking about the prep major as a teacher. 
Okay. So the first one is what, given that I'm a web major user and I am on the web major landing page. Okay. Next line is what. Okay, prep major landing page. Yeah. When I scroll to the bottom of the of the page, yeah. Yes. And okay. I click on privacy policy at the bottom of the footer. No, so remove that at the bottom of the footer. Why why did you say bottom of the footer? As in the footer is at the bottom of the page, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. So just remove remove that at the bottom of the footer. And that is fine. Uh -huh. Then continue. And I click on the privacy. Okay. Uh, and I click on and the I click on the privacy policy, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. And I'm directed to read the privacy policy. Wait, when you click on the privacy policy, what happens? <laughs> the the privacy policy page or yeah link will pop up that is well so yeah so when you click on it the the page opens up a bit yes so that's not what we have said it is so and i click on on privacy policy uh, yes so it's a, a different page right so yeah we directed to yeah, privacy I, policy it's page. it's i think yeah it depends on the developers sometimes is usually another page. Sometimes you still be on that landing yes, page yes. and that particular will pop up. Yes, in this case, I think it should be. I think in this case, should you take it to another page? If I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, it should take it to another page. So let's say I am redirected to, uh, to the privacy policy page. Redirected, <laughs> okay. That, that should be your then. Eh? Then I am redirected to the privacy policy page. Uh -huh. so you, can add, you can put an and at the end, and I'm able to read, I don't know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, no, 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 don't even put it. Let's not make it long, uh, long and winded. And so the, then I am redirected to the privacy policy page with detail, with, um, with what? What's the information? With information. Uh, what did you see at the beginning? What was the, we were seeing as a, I want to, so that. So that can read Personal my privacy policy. Yes. So, Personal so, so, information. Yeah. yeah. So that I will know how my personal information is used and protected. Okay. So you say then I am redirected to, to, um, the privacy. What do they call it now? The privacy. A policy page showing details relating to to what I don't know make up make something up but you get what I mean. Let it be in one sentence. So, oh, what, what right. so should I remove this one? I should be able to accept or reject. Oh, are you able to accept or reject as well? Yeah. Uh, most of the privacy police, I think, you are given an option to accept. I don't know, but that uh, that's tiny boss that you have to tick good or that is always clickable. It should, I think it always states something. Either you accept the privacy policy of the company or you don't accept, I don't know. Is it is it is it that we accept terms and conditions? Is is uh, wait, is it privacy policy you accept or is it um um terms and condition? Cookies mm -hmm. and all those terms and conditions and all those things. It's accept only cookies it. you accept. I don't you don't you really you just the terms the um, privacy policy is there for you to read and understand you there's nothing mm -hmm. to accept mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, let me yeah, take yeah. it off. Yeah, so. So right. this one now, this one, I should add it to this one and make it then. That is what you mean, right? I can't see you. I can't see because I'm driving. So maybe read it out. So <laughs> the, the one you asked me to change as then, like then. 
can you read it out? Yeah. Then I am redirected to read the privacy policy page. Hey, I did not say you are redirected to read it. Too. <laughs> I said you are redirected to the. Hmm? I can't hear you, please. Ah, uh, okay. I said you are redirected to the privacy policy page. Eh? Okay. Yeah. I said, then it's up to you if you want to make it another line to say, and I can view information about how my. I don't know. Then I'm redirected to the privacy policy page. Let's put it on a second line because I think it's a bit too long. To so um, know how my personal information is used and protected. Finish. Ah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So that reads well. So we, what we said is that when you start from the landing page, you scroll down to the uh, footer, to the bottom of the landing page. You can now see the privacy policy. You click on it. They are redirected to the privacy policy page. You can see information about how they want to use your, I don't know, your data and personal information, right? Yes. Okay. So is there any way for this one as well? Mm, not yet. Okay. Um, just as a, um, just to kind of give us advance uh, notice, if, if you don't hear me, know that my battery has died, but I'll be home in five minutes, just in case. But let's carry on. So okay, let me read it again. Let me read it, read it again so that you see how it flows. Okay, give it. Let me read it again so that you go through it once, once again. Yeah, but like I said, if you don't hear me and my battery dies, I'll be home in another five minutes. So I will join again. Okay. 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 okay read it. Read it. Read it. Given that I'm a prep major user. And mm -hmm. I'm on the prep major landing page. When okay. I scroll down to the bottom of the page and I click on the privacy policy, then mm -hmm. I am redirected to the privacy policy page to know how my personal information is being used. Uh, the, yeah, that's fine. It, it's just the last thing I was saying. It's, it, and it's a matter of choice, to be honest. Then I'm redirected to the privacy policy page where I can see. You understand? Yeah. For you, for you to know how it will be used, you will see it. it will be okay. Uh -huh. So just say the way I can see how my information will be used. And that's fine. So did you say somebody is in a wireframe? Who has that story? I'm the one that had. Oh, yeah, put your name. Put your name there. At, <laughs> at Salome. So he's put the wireframe of the. So you know what you're doing? It's the wireframe of the yes. actual privacy policy page itself. Yeah? Okay. Once you put that comment, we can move on to the next, the next um, story. Please, is anybody? Um, so while we're going to be doing this story, story, somebody from um, um, Emerald, please get ready to share so that it's not like we're doing ah two percent. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Salim, when you're done, let's move to the next uh, story. It's also. Awesome. Okay, the next one is favorite courses. Yeah. Can okay. I go ahead? Yes, please. I, I can't see it, but you can just read, read it. Out. Okay. As a user on prep major websites, yes. I want to be able to add and view courses that I'm that I'm interested in so that I can easily access them. Okay, cool. All right, so what's the... Uh... So the <laughs> acceptance criteria has two scenarios. The okay. scenario who, 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 who wrote this story? <coughs> Salome. Who wrote this story? Salome. Okay, okay. Uh, why is your voice now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have any party to say. <laughs> The first one says, the first scenario says, registered users, registered user, and registered user add favorite courses. 
Mm -hmm. The second one says, yes, registered user view or remove favorite courses. So given that I'm a registered user on Pref major websites, when I log into my account and I navig navigate through the courses on the website, and I can add my favorite courses to the wish list button, then I should easily assess the courses I prefer. Hello? Battery is off. Okay, Tim Ruby. Okay, Salome. I think he has entered <laughs> me, so I can. Um, you see, that's scenario one. Turn it to scenario Z. <laughs> Come on, Israel. I saw me. Turn it to I scenario see your Z. Day. Please stay at work. Stay at work. I'm going to do the wireframe for. Um. What was that one you gave me again? Tutor, tutor of the month. Yes, tutor of the month. Yeah, I haven't done that. And my story is kind of shaky, but I've spoken to mm -hmm. our PO. I've gotten some. Oh, you are still writing on it. I've gotten more requirements, so I just have to add it to the information I got for for math. I just oh. what I wrote there was just temporary. I was praying for you not to bring it out. I've done, I've seen it and I want to bring it out. <laughs> why, why now? Why? Don't bring it out. At least let me let me finalize. Oh god, Chuku. Oh god. Which one be Ogo again? Ogo is oh, like Ogo having Chuku long head behind. And it's Ogo Chuku no Ogo. Ogo is like extra head behind. No, I want to put I want to call it in style. <laughs> Is she not hearing me? I can hear you. How are you doing? Fine. Have you done yours? Uh, I'm preparing. Uh, I, I didn't hear you, please. Yeah, I should be doing it by tomorrow. Okay, okay. But if yes. you need, if you need more requirements, chat our PO. Okay. Yeah. For more information. For more information. Uh, yeah. Okay. I will. All right. Thank you. Larry. Is Larry here? Mm. Larry. Am I not pronouncing it way? <laughs> Let me close and check if he's here. Larry is here with us now. Larry, can you hear me? Please, we are waiting for our mentor to be here with us. Larry cannot hear me. Oh, are you at work? Cordelia. Cordelia should be at work. Cordelia is here now. I'm not at work. <laughs> <laughs> How is your day going? Oh, my day has been okay Are you true today. with your user stories? Wireframe, process map, every, every. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't. So I'm hoping like after today's class, I should be able to um, start writing mine. And I need to speak with a PO as well. I just want clarification about certain things. Then hopefully by tomorrow, I should have written it. All right. And I the wireframe, I'm going to attempt to do wireframe because I no, haven't done it's one not yet. Like attempting. It must I come will. Very neat. <laughs> I will because you know, um, I had a personal impediment when it came to using um Visio because my Windows is <laughs> uh it's not like a grandpa, it needs to be updated, but um Bolu was kind enough to give me an alternative. So I'm going All to be right. Are you at home or at work? I'm at work. I'm at home now. Okay. That means you continue from where I stop and read. You're not serious, Salome. No, I'm serious. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you want me to uh, do? Once you read like two, two of the PBI, I got school will take over. 
Okay, that's I'll just fine. be but sharing I don't the screen. Think, I don't think we'll be able to do all ours today because uh, we'll have to give the other team a chance to. Do okay, some of once she comes up, well. you continue. All right, no worries. Right, that, just that's fine. Me, Thank just you. let me know what you want me to read and I will do it. No, once I share, open the screen, you start reading. Which one, the favorite courses? Okay, yes, that's the fine. favorite courses. Thank okay, you. No worries. That's fine. Who again? Let me see my people. I have called this day. Bola. Bola, how are you doing? Hello, Bola. Ah, you should not hear. Tosin, are you home? Not yet. Oh. I'll tell you. Better fly home now. <laughs> That's why I'm dead like oh, she's at home. Please question her again. Because that Are you still share? She's a suspense. Like she's <laughs> she's, she sounded like she's in her house. Please, I'm Tosi, really? confess. <laughs> so, Tosi said the truth. Israel is suspecting you. You should suspect yourself. <laughs> Larry, I can't hear your voice. Are you here with us? I'm still waiting for my connection. I, I'm here, also. I'm here. Ah. Just chilling. Uh, no, don't yeah. chill. Oh. How is he? Just is that chilling. Story going? <laughs> <laughs> There's no chilling yet. Uh, well, is learning, that you story know, going? well, I've tried the user story. Uh, I hope I'm. Um, what I did was okay. I've done something, but I um the wireframe um um so I I need to I need to do it, but I haven't done it. I'm not very good with it, but I'm I'm sure I'll, I'll do something by tomorrow. Hello, Let's everyone. Go. I Let's am go. back. Yeah. Sorry oh, welcome about back. That. Sorry about All that. Right. Um. So where where were you now? Where are we? Okay. Salome, I'm here. So Salome wants me to read um, the acceptance criteria for favorite courses. So I'm going to read scenario one, registered user at favorite courses. Given that I am a registered user on Prep Major website, when I log into my account and navigate through the courses on the website, and I can add my favorite courses to the wish list button, then I should easily access the courses I preferred. Uh, right. So, uh, registered user, add favorite. Given that I'm a registered user, I log into my account. Okay, let me ask a question. So, um, where do you have to be to be able to add um, favorite courses? The favorite courses that is in the uh, side navigation panel. It's in the side navigation panel. Yes. Yeah. Or at the top of the thingy, um, the top of the um, the header bit. Landing page. Hmm? No. No, no, not landing page. I mean, yeah, on that student profile page. The it's header. On... Is he on the side navigation panel or is he on the top right? Um, <laughs> well, the reason I'm asking is... It's on both, it's, okay. Boy, it's on both, okay. Yeah, that's, yes, that's yes, yes, yes. So okay. there's okay. on the left, and the, so on the side navigation panel and on the... Uh, okay. uh, yeah, the head. The okay. reason I'm asking is... Uh, you have to view it first, isn't it? Yes. If I log into my account... I get through the courses and I can add my favorite. Uh, I don't know. So the the way the, the user journey is, you are just you don't have to navigate through courses to do you have to navigate through courses to add favorite or it's when you've um added a course, like you know when you hover. So this is student journey, isn't it? So when you're on the landing page and you see all those um tiles that have the different courses you click on it it takes you to um it, it you know, if you hover on it it kind of gives you a preview you click on it if it's a free course you can immediately have access to it and then just click 
then favorite, and then that's it added to favorite. Gold, am I right? Yeah, I was I was I was considering it that way, but I don't know. Mm. Well, Bolo, Bolo, are, you, are you here? I see your yeah, admin now, be or who is? Yes, I'm the one. Yeah. Hey, I, she be a boss left. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember. I'm trying to remember the journey, you know, for favorites. Um, to add courses to favorites. Do you? Yeah. So they can either go through um the the wish list that is at the other. Mm -hmm. uh, but when a user clicks on the favorite on the side navigation panel, whether you have clicked on it on the header or you've clicked on it on the course, like you've clicked on favorite on the course, once you click on the favorite on the side navigation panel, it will redirect you to the page where you see all the courses that you have made favorite. Okay, so I yeah. think what, what they're trying to do, so that one is to view your favorite courses, isn't it? Yeah. So that will come under scenario two that is here. But for adding, um, <clears throat> as in adding a course to your favorites, that was the thing that I was wondering, like, what was it? Another, my other question is, is the scenario one needed? Is it necessary? Um, so to add a course as your favorite, it has to be, you can do it, <laughs> through the top course because on the top course there's the icon the the wish list icon there's also one on the header so you can either select a course and make it your favorite Favorites. on that yeah, so, so on the nice. on the on the top course i mean on on the top course is displayed on the landing page okay so do you get what, so so i don't so this is what i was saying now because that joint for scenario one it's not exactly how you would add a cost to your favorite that's why i was trying to remember how it works because to my recollection which is what you've just confirmed you have to first click on the course you understand so if it's for example a free course you can then make it you can then add it to uh, to your favorites if you've opened it up or if it's a course that you've um, maybe paid for or whatever you then have the option of clicking on on that um, um that heart love heart thingy you know, mm -hmm. I'm making it your favorite, isn't it? So that's yeah. so it's not a case of you navigating through the courses on the website and then adding favorite courses. So yeah, at the end of the day, you can call it navigating, but you have to, you would have clicked Click. on it, you understand, and it will okay. open up and before you can then now have see that that love heart. It, it at that point it will just be in white, I think, or clear color. And when you now click on it, it will then um be red, I think. So that journey. And even scenario two, we have to ad ad adjust it a bit as well. So the this line is okay. your okay. So now? so when I log into my okay. So you are we're saying register user add favorite courses, isn't it? Okay, so when um <laughs> the journey for a registered user is even slightly different. So when you go on the landing page, right? If you if you if you scroll to the like the main section of the landing landing page, you will see all the different courses, right? You can see whether they are free courses or paid courses and all of that. If you now saw one that you were interested in and you wanted to either pay for it or access it because it's free, when you click on it, it will then prompt you to register. You will then register. And then find yourself on the uh, on your own profile page, but then we access to it will open up the oh god, I've actually forgotten the um the user journey for a registered user wanting to add um courses. Do you have another story um um for adding for registering for courses and all that? Yeah, we'll have uh, top courses. Can I see that story, please? I don't think. Uh, have you done enroll courses? Enroll courses, yes. I think we should look at that one first before the favorite. That way, 
We'll be able to see what these are journeys. Okay, so enroll courses description. As a prep major student, I want to be able to view the courses I'm enrolled in on the site navigation panel so I can easily assess my courses. Acceptance criteria scenario one, user enter correct password. Given that I'm a pre prep major student, when I want to log into my account and I enter the correct password and I click the enrolled courses, then I should be able to access all enrolled courses. Hey, this journey is not... Uh, uh, are you trying to log in or are you trying to view enrolled courses ticket? What you're trying to do yeah. here is to enroll for courses, isn't it? Yeah, so, to so what you're trying to do, uh, what you're tr the journey should be that, um, hmm, let me see if I remember um, how to enroll for courses. So if it's for, because it's got nothing to do with password and um, if you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This this scenario you're putting is like you're trying to sign sign in or, or log in and then you know say correct password, incorrect password, okay. Um, no, hold on, hold on. Um, so for enrolled courses, or yeah, are basically for students to enroll for courses or to register for courses. So there are two types. One, one of the one type is for the um paid courses, and then you have the free courses as well. So if it's for the free courses, the way the journey starts is that um we are the landing so um page and you scroll to the main body of the page and you can view top courses, isn't it? And you now hover on um um or you click on on your chosen or your or your chosen course. It will then redirect um okay you start it as a registered user. If you hover and you click on it, it will now lead you to another page. If it is for free courses instantly that once you click on it, you see your student um a page it you will see that course sitting there and you have access to it but if it's um for for a um, a course that you have to pay for when you click on it it will take you to that page and it will prompt you to now um is it make payment or something does it say whether but, it's, uh, please i have or... a question mm -hmm. yeah the um the this thing the PBI is talking about enrolled courses. It means the student has already registered. The students has signed in, then registered for that particular course. Or he so or she that, only so, what are wants... to, so if you sign in and register for it, so yes, you are already you, you are trying to assess maybe where you, you have registered, you have signed in or logged in, but you still want to go back to the courses, maybe to watch the videos or read the uh, uh, the write-ups or all these things. So I think that is how... Yeah, but that's going to do with your password as in correct or incorrect password. Okay. Mm. Okay, let, let's go back to this, this stuff. What's the purpose of this story? When I see enrolled courses... The, the... the purpose is for students to be able to view the courses they are enrolled with so that they can easily access them. It means the students has already signed up for a program or already, already registered with that particular website or, yeah. Are you saying that but, at this point, the student has already signed up for the course? Yes. Okay, so has do we have a story paid, for so, that? It wasn't given us. Because before you can now view a course that you've enrolled for, you must have signed up for it, isn't it? To or sign up for a course. For or registered for it. Okay, we, we didn't have that PBL. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. So, so what you're, you're saying, I don't think that's the, that's the uh, purpose of that. Thing. Well, when you okay. did your elicitation, I said, well, this enrolled course, enrolled uh, Enrolled courses. Enrolled courses, yeah. What, yeah. what did you understand it to be? Because do you get what I mean? Before you can yeah. say you're going to view something, you must have created it now, Abby. You must have 
kept it somewhere for you to go and view it again. Yes, that, uh -huh. that means the the course, the particular course the student sign up for has materials the student should fall back at. Do you understand? That will add up his or her training. Yeah, so where, so, did, where, did, you, where did you sign up for it? For it? it it's when you are accessing the website, that is when you sign up. Then you pay for okay, just like us. Oh, I think I was saying what you are saying, but okay, you are, you are probably not getting the whole the whole thing right. So when you are on the website, you, you just can't access every course. Okay, so um, the Pep Major website it has a collection of uh, um courses, isn't it? So there yes. are some courses that are related to BA. Okay, we are speaking about BA courses. Yes, yes, learning courses. Okay, so you know that some of those courses are free and some of them are paid for. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm telling you that you cannot even access, for example, if the course has maybe it's a hundred pounds for that course, you cannot even access it until you go in and register as in you have to enroll for that course. To enroll for it, you will click on it, it will redirect you to a page. You understand? You will not even can pay for it before it will now be sitting in your your student page. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, I understand the but the way I'm understanding <laughs> the PBI is that the student has already enrolled but want to let her access it. Okay, on their if own yeah, but has already time. enrolled. Yes. My question now is remember that the story that you're writing, they are developing it. Yes. Where is the story that was written for the student to already enroll? Enrolled. Get... We don't have Hey, hey. So, you get what I mean. This, this, yes. this cannot happen if you are saying that the purpose <laughs> of this story is to view a road courses. Okay. Until the student has the ability to even enroll for the course. So okay. they, it, yeah. That's what I'm asking. It, it depends on what you tell me that the purpose of this story is. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not sure. Uh, what we will do with this one because um, like I said, it depends on the purpose of the story. So I are you saying we should go back to appeal and confirm the papers? So at the very least, before you can view something, you must have created it or you must have registered for it, you know. So if it's a free one, when you go, you click on it, it will redirect you to your student page. You will immediately have access to the free one. You understand? If it's the paid one, when you click on it, it will redirect you to your student page where you are now giving further steps to follow after which you can pay for it and then access it. By the time you've paid for it, they will be sitting down there in your student uh, page. Do you, do you get what I mean? So uh, you don't exactly. That was, uh, that so you don't even need to do special steps to now go and be viewing it again because you already have access to it. So that's why I've been asking that. What's the purpose of this? Um, no, I think when you already enrolled and you have access to it, that for you to go back to its letter letter, you have to still log in for you to access it. That's fine, but we agree that you need to first have access to it, Abby. Yes. And the industry is not there. Yeah. yeah. So we cannot we cannot see it until it's there. So you, you remember that as you're writing it, the developers are developing it, right? So I cannot okay. say I want to um <laughs> I can't say I want to eat um sausage rolls. Eh? When I've not talked about uh, I want to go to the shop to buy sausage rolls. Do you understand? I see. Yeah. So it's like putting the what now? The card before the horse. So you will have to develop everything in the right order. Uh -huh. So can we move to another story? This one has to be, I think, you have to probably go and discuss something but i don't want us to spend the whole time but you get the gist like so the story is not because just viewing and work course then there's really no development work to do then now i say because if you've already registered for it that means you log in which there's already a story for login you understand okay and yeah. you land on the student landing page there's already a story for that one so it's just for you to use your eye to see the <laughs> This the course is there, which so there's no development work to be done there. If you get what I mean, so this so story we need more. 
So this story has to be student ability to enroll for courses. You understand? So it has to be okay. rewritten. And now you can split it into two. So there, are, so there's um, yeah, you can leave it as one. Maybe one scenario can be free courses, the other one can be paid courses. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, you can split the it. Next two. one. Yeah. Um, so let's let's stop at that for um Ruby. And then okay. everyone, let's see what you've got. Who's going to share? Let me stop sharing. Thank you. No worries. So who's sharing for Emerald? Um, I will start. I'm okay, at work, thanks. but I can't um, assure that I will share for a long time. But let me start. When they so come... You know what we can do? Can you share your the story that you wrote? Let's do your own. Do you get Let's do right. a story that you wrote. And then you do as much as you can. And any other person can pick it up from there. But let's start on your own story. All right. Um, story, story. Love. All right, so start with um, the ones that are here, but these ones are not part of it. So approve from here, add courses, add course. So this is add course as an instructor, in our stories and instructors and journey. As an instructor and prep major, I want to be able to Add course so that students can be assigned to it. Given that I am an instructor on prep major and I navigate to the landing page, oh, sorry, when I navigate to the landing page and I log into my account on the website and I view the side navigation panel and I click on the add course icon on the side navigation panel and, I and I'm redirected to the add course page. And I can view the field where I can enter the details of the course. And I enter the course detail and I click on the add course button. Then the course must be available for students to be assigned to it. So the additional details there is um, the course, the add course form. Uh, there is an add course form and the it has uh, the details are at um, course title, avatar, mm -hmm. description, curriculum, frequently asked question, and then course material. So here is uh, the post um, wireframe for it. Done. Okay, so can you go back up, please? So is that given that um an instructor on prep major? <clears throat> There's only to say when I navigate to the um landing page. So instead I will say and I am on the landing page. <clears throat> yeah, and put the when where. But uh, let we will we'll find somewhere to put it. Just change the when to and for now. <clears throat> that first when. And that when there, yeah. you know, just to put a, um, as say, and I am on the landing page. Okay. Um, on the login. Um, I hope we real uh, we know that the order doesn't really matter. If you say give me and when, then or give me when and then it doesn't matter as far as you correctly um and put in your steps. And I'm on the landing page. I log into my account, and I and I can view the side navigation panel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So change that last and to when.
I click on the add course button, then I am able to successfully add the, the course. So the um from these changes, it means we put the wine at the point of last action. So that's what I was saying that there might be a number of actions because you've done some a number of actions here, right? For example, the third line says, and I log in, and I can view, and I click. So they are all actions. It's up to you really where you want to put the win. I said, and what, how it reads, you understand? <clears throat> but, so last yesterday, mm -hmm. Denji was with us. So he, mm -hmm. and he did, said two things. Mm -hmm. So he advised that the win should start should be when the action starts. Mm -hmm. Secondly, he also said that for things that are preconditioned, mm -hmm. that are not mostly, yeah, for things that are mostly preconditioned, mm -hmm. we can put them under given. So mm -hmm. that means given can have and, and when can have and. So like my when can come in between, we have its and, then can have its and, and given can have its and. Uh, Sorry, I'm understanding, I'm understanding what you're saying. Given can have its and when can have. So that. I can come and put the when here. Mm -hmm. And change this to and. So at this point, at this point, there are two, there are ands. There are two ands under given. There are three and four ands under when. He said this is also okay as long as the win is properly positioned at the point where the main action starts. Yeah, but I don't know if it's me mm -hmm. that has that did not hear well. So our PO, um, when she was advising, she said she would prefer um we have all the ants be under any of either giving that giving that or under when. Not to have and here and then and here, and it's much more organized that way. Okay. So right now, I don't know which. That's right. I'm thinking of taking oh. all of them. <laughs> taking all of them, you can't possibly take all of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, like I said, you shouldn't get hung up on the arrangement of um, where are you putting and 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 at work, right? Sometimes when we put the acceptance criteria, <laughs> you see giving and and when <clears throat> and and then you even see, see and after then again. See, <laughs> it okay. depends on how complex your your the, the steps are or the story or the story is. Now so, everybody has their preference. Okay. Everybody has their preference. When I was in training. You see some people that will say you say giving when and then, or some people says giving and when then. I've seen different men when I was in training, different mentors become with their different side. But what I've realized uh, in practice, you understand, yeah, is what is obtainable, like when you're working or however you guys agree to put it. People have their preference, you understand. Okay. How do you like to see? It's just like. I'm looking at the wording of this thing and I'm feeling mm, maybe he can put, write it this way or that way. I do not okay. believe there is a hard or fast rule. I stand to be corrected though, uh, but I'm yet to see, you know, that uh, rule that says, okay, because it's not in that format, we're not going to develop the story. You understand? Uh, because I think that's mind you, mind, yeah. you, mind you, in some organizations, you as a BA will never be writing as a dance criteria. It's the developer that be writing it. And when developers write it, is any idea they write it like they seriously mm -hmm. in the at workplace, BIs mm -hmm. are not writing acceptance criteria. Mm -hmm. True. No, you can't say mm -hmm. you can't say at workplace. I'm saying in certain places. Mm -hmm. In my workplace, I write acceptance criteria. I'm going to write tomorrow. I'm going to write uh, three user stories tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I will write acceptance criteria. But we will review everything with the, t the rest of the team. We will tweak it to suit. So I write it with a lot of input from the developers. 
what I'm saying is that in some organizations, you might not even be the one writing it. You write your user story and they will go and write their, what they want to write. I interviewed somebody and <laughs> he, he never used to write a seven criteria. It's the developers that go and write their uh, seven criteria. They just write it. In fact, they will never write it in this Gherkin syntax. They will write it as statements. No. Oh. <laughs> so there's another way of writing it. Not only just giving when, the, you know, sometimes you can say the when the this one happens, this must happen. Like statements like that. You know, so it depends on the organization you're working in. You just have to be flexible enough to see um what what is what they've accepted to do and if it works, you know. Um so I'm here to see that rule to say, okay, it must be in this format. But like I said, All right. so, I'm yet to see. Okay. Yeah, she also said um she also says exactly what you said. Different companies use different methods and Mm -hmm. We just have to be flexible and not okay. to adapt. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Okay, so we said then the when I click on the when you click on the add cost button, what will happen? When I click on add cost button, mm -hmm. so the cost will be available. The cost must be available for students to be assigned. What what is add cost button? So what's the ad cost? When you, when you add cost, what does that is that the, the... so it's just it's like simple. uploading the cost. So it's mm -hmm. not uploading his cost, okay. his or her cost, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the reason I said that is because your last line is saying students to be assigned to it. No, available. Available for students to be assigned. So, mm, so uh, there's that assigned to it really. Because you that's not, what it's I, out of your hands, if you get what I mean. You can put your yeah. cost there. But it's the student that we can register for it. So you don't assign to any student. All right. So that's just another thing. Yeah. Add student so, says different thing from what you're just saying now. So add student from what we are told by PO. Mm -hmm. uh, it, so the student register is the the instructor. Okay, but you're talking, talking about add cost. So. Yeah, so mm -hmm. from what you're saying. He said it's out of my hand, but I'm, the I'm looking at this your story or things. Yes, I am trying to. Are you able to with add mm -hmm. cost? Like, are you able to add the student to your specific cost? Exactly, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Is that what the story is about? That's what the add student is. So it's available. So is this is this is this story add student or add cost? Add cost. Yeah. Okay. Can we do add cost? So this is for ad cost. That's what I'm asking. I'm saying that. I don't know how. I'm trying to explain it in a way that ad student is a different issue. The ad cost is a different issue. Okay, so it's one or the other. As far as this is concerned, when you click on the ad cost button, what's going to happen? This cost becomes available for yeah, students yeah. to be added to it. You, you, you get so the cost oh, becomes. No, no, this story, sorry, apologies for jumping in like that. So, this ad cost story is for instructors to create their course. They are not adding students to this course. That's, That's what I'm saying. Makes them add students to a course, but they just create their course. This is for them to create a course. Yeah, and I said that this story is kind of complex because there's so many stages you have to go through to even create your course finally on the for it to be posted on the home page, but it's just for adding course. That makes sense. So does that clarify it? I think so. Yes. Uh, it doesn't change the understanding I have. It's still the same understanding I have. I was trying to explain something. Okay. So what I was trying to explain is this clause here or this uh, phrase here uh, for students to be um for students to be assigned to it, available for students to be assigned to it. That's because there is a story called art student, which the instructor adds students to the course. So it is the instructor that adds a student, a registered student, to the course. I'm going to jump in again, Kinsley. So the add student, 
So a student can come on it. So this code has been created now, mm. right? And be on the landing page. A student can choose the course. It's not compulsory for a an instructor to add students to course. So the 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 add student is for when an instructor wants to add a student to the course. But this course that is going to be created is so that people can take the course so they can see it on the landing page or on the courses page. That's the point of this course. So a, an instructor is supposed to create a course. That's the whole essence of this story. Not necessarily so I delete this point. Student to that course, no. It's up to the student to choose the course. So for whatever course they, they create will now be on either the course page or on the landing page. The student can then take that course. But without them creating a course, student cannot take a course. All right. Yeah. So this also can go and replace with this, if that makes sense. Sorry, say that again. So I want to be able to add, I want to be able to add courses. Can you change that to, be able to course, add an S to it? Can, I want to be able to add courses so that students can, you, you need to- But it's one course at a time. Right. So it's a general, so you will not create a story for every course. Do you get what I mean? So courses. It will be working. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So, but you will not say add. <clears throat> it doesn't mean there's only one story that they will put. You get what I mean? Sorry, only one course that they would add. It's one at a time. But add courses is the ability to add courses. So when I go and I want to add five courses, I can add five courses. If I want to add only one, I can add one. You understand? Well, it's one at a time. <sighs> I'll put this. <laughs> At least leave the story as you want to leave your back. Yeah, let your PO revisit it. <laughs> Let's move on. Um right. Okay. I'm not sure how I can explain it um, further. Um so if you say you want to be able, I want to have the ability, I want to learn how to cook. Um what, what example we like? Uh -huh. So if you say you want to learn how to cook jollof fries, for example, you will only cook one pot of jollof fries at a, a time, or you only cook a one meal. But you've learned it for life, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. In the same way, I don't know if that's a good. Yeah, sorry. All right. So I don't know if that's a good um, <coughs> illustration, but if I say I have the ability to add courses, hmm? <clears throat> okay. it means that I can choose to add one course. Oh, I can choose to add 10 courses. You get it's up to me. But if I wanted to, if I ever wanted to add a course, I now have the ability to do it. Okay. If you look at it, it's all about that page, isn't it? It's giving it's creating that functionality so that when you as an instructor are on that page, you are able to put in those details and click on add course. Do you understand? Yeah. It was add courses I put the developers came with that. It look a bit pedantic, <laughs> honestly. As in ability to add courses. What okay, add course. I, ah, I need my bed. Um yeah, oh, add courses. But, so add courses, add courses just like, like a, yeah, yeah. Then just they like said, I've explained it. You see? Sorry, carry on. Yeah, so it was at courses I put there, and they, they started with their, that it has to change one course at a time, mm -hmm. change it to add, um, change it to just a singular. That's, I think that's, 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 that's the least, that's the least important thing they will be dwelling, up, uh, dwelling on. The title of the. the was, there is a lot of things they, they, they won't change, though. Okay. Because Jesus told me it has gone on to do it. The steps. 
What they will be focusing on is the acceptance criteria, really. Anyway, let's move on. Um, I want to be able to add courses so that students mm, so that students can can be able to, to view or may well assess the available courses. Because it's when you've added it that they'll become available. Like Polo said, these they, they will be um, you see those top courses, that's where they'll be displayed. So when you add a course, it will be displayed on the landing page, on the main section of the la landing page. Assess the available courses. So if you want to please them as so that everybody's happy, you understand? You can remove it and say add course. You understand? I want to be able to add a course. It's also fine. But the most important thing here now is this same um, acceptance criteria. Do you get? So yeah. if you feel that okay, you don't want um any hassle from developers, you can uh, I swear if they've mentioned it before, you can take that away just for everybody for peace of mind, really. Uh, and then uh, yeah, move forward with it. Um where are we? Even that. Mm -hmm. So when I click on the add cost button, what happens? Becomes available for so students. When you click on it, what but how do you know it is available? <coughs> it gets uploaded, it gets saved into the database. Do you have any message? Are you prompted to say? Mm -hmm. uh, no. I don't so prompt any message. Hmm? All right. So, no, I did not put any message. Okay. Mm. I would say when I click on the actual button, then I'm able to successfully add the host. And that's how we did it. And I'm able to successfully add. Mm. That then, mm -mm. the then, the then, the then. Then the course is successfully added or whatever. Mm. Successfully added to the, added to the top courses or something or to the landing page. That last line, then the course is successfully added. Because if you were telling me now that when you click on the add course button, you get prompted to say, oh, your course has successfully, uh, you know, you know how like sometimes you click things and then you see a message, you know, yeah, yeah the confirmation message in hand and you'd have, mentioned, you'd have mentioned that one, but you can leave it as this. Right. Okay. Additional information. Details in the add course. Okay, so there's a form. Can you please go up again? Wait. A form, eh? Wait. So when you say, and I'm redirected to the add course page, hmm? that means you will be able to view a form with yes. fields. Okay, so see, you see where you said, and I can view the fields. So say, just add this to it, and I can view the form, or what would you call the form? I can view the add course form hmm? with fields, and then you leave the rest of it as well. Mm -hmm. Add course form with fields. Uh -huh. So, yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. If you scroll down. Okay. So, this is how the layout is, right? Yes. Okay, I don't know anything about the layout, but uh, well done for uh, putting the wireframe together. I'm assuming everything's correct. All right. So yeah, this was a good um, um one that you you wrote in Kingsley. Okay, we can save and come out of this one now. Right. Okay, Another one student. that you did because. Person. No, we are doing the ones that you did because yeah. the other people can share their own stories. Yeah, because I'm not getting any response from other folks. So let's do yours. All right. So this one is uh, activities. 
Okay. So as an instructor on prep major, I want to be able to click on no, activity. No, that, that's that him. So this is me. Sorry, I'm being picky, right? But it's just because we already know what prep major is, right? And so it would, it would be fine in normal settings and all that. But for completeness sake, as an instructor on, on what? On um, prep major is what? Uh, I suppose it's okay. Prep major is the name of the platform, isn't it? Yeah, yes. Okay, so just put the PM in caps and that was that's fine. Then let's carry on. Okay. So click on activity okay. button. Okay, so on put the a P before the activity. You see that I'm picking some tiny, tiny things, right? Yes. I want to um, I want to be able to click on the Activity. Yeah, I'm going to click on the activity board. Mm. On the dashboard so that I can view activities on, on. At this point, you can say on the prep major website, Abby. Okay. Oh, but these activities, what do they relate to? Activities, uh, things happening. Um, is this student activities major. or is it general activity? So this is general activity, not just students. Okay. Okay. That, your D, you can remove the uh, cups. <coughs> okay. Right. That's fine. So, okay, you can carry on. Instructor on prep major. When I log into my account and I navigate through the side navigation panel and I click on the dashboard icon and I'm redirected to the dashboard page and I click on the activity, sorry, activities button, then I should view all activities. Okay, then I should be able to. Yeah. No, no, you've put that in front. You should come after. Oh. Mm. <laughs> then I should be able to. Okay, so, so when I log into my account mm, and so I don't want you to say and I navigate through the side navigation panel because when you log into your account, you see your your instructors, is it page I will call it. And just on the left, you can already see the sign of you don't have to navigate because navigate so, means you are kind of trying to find your way, you know. But it's already there. Uh, so when I log into my account and I can view hmm, the side navigation panel, you understand? That's <clears throat> better. Yeah. So you have all the information there, it's just little little things. Then view the side. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So additional information, ordering of activities in ordering of what, that? what does that the mean? Ordering of activities is in the ordering activity story. So this story needs to be created. Mm -hmm. So to tell that um the order the ordering um to know how to order the table. So um oh there's another story. There will be another story. Yes. Or ordering activities. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me um. They just said we should add it okay. so that it will be like a toggle. Okay. Um, order by or, so it will be by default like the sending order. Right. Okay. So this is just for, for the developers to know that another story is coming up. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask? Have Have you created that story? I don't mean have you written up the whole story, but have you just you know like created a new story to say ordering activities? Hmm. No, I have not done okay. that. Okay. The reason I asked, nothing wrong in your answer. The reason I'm asking is so that you don't lose sight of it. You understand? Because the easiest okay. thing to do is you've said this here, they are aware. They're not going to develop it. But other priorities come up and we not forget. Okay. You understand? But if you go and create it in the backlog, it will be there. So you will not lose sight of it. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. All right, let me take let me give you one assignment. Can you scroll down? Let me put your name in the comments. It's just for your information. So it will remind you, okay? Because if we do that, I think it will pop up in your email. Um so okay. go to your comments. Um 
and put yeah. arts at Kingsley. Yeah, and put arts. Uh -huh. And then put your name. Okay, to create ordering activity story. This is the easiest way for it to just remind you, you know, because so like our work, yeah. um, you might just be saying, you just see one email come because it mentioned your name on one story. So yeah, uh -huh. so it's quite good, you know, that's why when you agree something like join a meeting like this, you just now put a comment so that everybody is involved. So nobody will say, oh, you didn't tell me. Oh, oh no, um, I told you. No, 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 I didn't hear you say that. Uh, you write me down, you tag the person. And it's there mm. forever, eh, you know. Nobody can yeah. find it, it to pop on their email, just like this one now. <laughs> we pop on your um email, you know. So it's I received it. Now. Yes. <laughs> okay. So that's fine. So this is your second story. Do you have any other one? And then we'll go back to um. Okay. So we're done. Are we done with this one? Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm going to take your word for it that this um, wireframe, because I don't know how it's supposed to look, you understand, but um, in, what? You, you, will have a, <laughs> you will have a meeting with your PO, isn't it, eventually, to show your stories and everything, but in terms of the story itself, um, it, it's well written and all that, yeah, so it shows what... Um, yeah, I'm just doing. managing to create this... Uh... <laughs> this is just from my imagination. Just oh, is this your is this your imagination? Ah, okay. All right. So th this is a brand new website. So this is a dashboard. Working. This is the dashboard. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's better that this <laughs> you is are it. trying to explain to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So of course I'm open to update anything. Mm -hmm. I'm asked to. Yes, you understand. So you can have a discussion. So um, but just generally have that mindset, everybody on this call, you know, like when you go into those meetings, that, don't think, okay, somebody's trying to attack you or anything. Yes, people might come across it. Uh, people have different ways of expressing themselves and everything, but at the end of the day, you just want to really be calm and leave that meeting, have accomplished, you know, that shared understanding of the requirements, you understand? So you might go and they say, like, I go to meetings now, like, and it was, like tomorrow, it's a story I'm going to write. I'm not sure whether I should put um three or four scenarios, whether I should break the third one into two scenarios to make four. You understand? So okay. when I go into that meeting, somebody might say, mm. so I would ask, do you think it's worth creating a fourth scenario for this? So somebody say, no, 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 we understand what you just just put an and there, you cover it, say fine. Or somebody might say, eh, yeah, yeah, let's put it so that there's no doubt about it. I will write it up. Okay, what do you want me to put? Right, right, you, you get so. There will always be that um easy negotiation or collaboration, you know, you work with the rest of your team to make sure. So yeah, if they if they give you feedback to say, okay, this is how you should look at one thing, you know, yeah, you can take it on board and everything. But in terms of a wireframe, this is you, you've created a wireframe, you've used the features of a wireframe. So so um, that's that's really um, that's impressive. Okay, so we can save and close this one. Do you have any other story on the board? Because I'm mindful of our time and I really need to... Notification. Yeah? You say? Notification. Notification. Okay. Um, so I haven't heard from the other people in this group, apart from Cordelia, um, Salome, and yourself. And um, that is why I'm looking at your stories. And um, once it's, I don't know, maybe half 10, would, uh, I would call it a... A day because I can't possibly yeah. look at every single story. So I'm interacting with the people that are kind of available to interact because there are how many people here? 14 or so, including myself. But I've only heard from three people. Okay, okay. um, not 14, 12 if I remove uh, myself and them. Um, okay, so um notification as an instructor on Prime Major, I want to be able to I beg, kick the with it, please. My throat is in. <laughs> As an instructor and pet major. <laughs> okay. I want to be able to click on notification icon on the dashboard so that I can view all notifications. Yeah, all notifications. Oh, oh, okay, that's one. Yeah, I'm forgetting what I actually so I did it all activities, but uh, they did correctly say that it should be all notifications. Okay. Okay. 
So given I am an instructor on prep major, when I log into my account and I navigate through the okay. So we are going to do that again. Yeah. Yeah. But you get the gist. I see you are following so, step by step. So that's that's really um good. That is the way. Okay. Side navigation panel, mm. and I click on it dash on the da dashboard icon. Yeah. Then directed to the dashboard page, uh -huh. and I click on the again. Remind me, green copy and paste. It's okay. <laughs> and so I the click on the, again. <laughs> and the on the notification icon. Mm. Then I should see all not all recent notification on prep major. Then I should be able to, yeah. God help. Me. Oh, you have put it at the back again. Okay. Okay, so then I should, I should be able again. to okay. view all recent notifications. So okay. And this is yeah, just so simple. Frame. Let's accept it. Like that. I, I don't know. not <laughs> see why I <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so this is the right. notification That's icon the and then simple uh -huh. notification when you click on it all right okay 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 so that left this in view message activity and profile that's your side navigation panel right? that is the menu on the on that on dashboard oh, on the dashboard. okay this is yeah, the dashboard yes. this is the dashboard yes this is the dashboard yes okay 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 all right again uh, it, it's making sense to me. I see, like that's the dashboard. Do you get what I mean? Like how you've explained it. But I don't know if that is what the requirement is. But in terms of what okay. you've explained, that is uh, it makes sense to me. So if your PO now says, "Oh no, this is not how the dashboard should look," don't come and say, "Okay, said it. it's fine." Yeah, of course, I will go and update. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like uh, yeah. so it's making sense it's to me. Although I don't know exactly how it should look like, yeah. But uh, I can understand what you've done, yeah. Okay, so that's good. Um, well done for this. Uh, so we can save this one and close. So are those all your stories? No. Ah, view messages. You do. You do half of the stories. <laughs> uh, view view messages. Uh, create messages. Right. So uh, yeah, the, we the other messages, two here. Uh, we will not look at all of them, right? You know what we'll do? We'll look at um the create messages because I believe that. If you create message, yes. fine. Your view will be fine because I've seen your stories, <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah, because that one is the view now, and I've seen that you are following the journey. So uh, the create message was emergency. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's so it's better we look yeah, at. I should create it yesterday. That's so, fine. So let's look at this one. As an instructor of prep major, hmm. I want to be able to click on message icon on the dashboard so that I so can put a D, create. Put a D before the message. Um, I want to be able to click on the message icon. Message icon on the dashboard so that I can create new message. Hi, can I tell you another way to write uh, to write that, that line you did? Because I know I know what you were trying to do. Eh? Okay. If you want to, if you don't want to put the D, eh, you okay. will maybe put the message in italics that you've done, but you will remove the icon from the front. You know, it's like you are saying, I want mm -hmm. to be able to click on message. On the dashboard, oh, okay. but that message you either make it in bold or you italicize it so that it's different from everything else. You understand? But if you All say right. message icon, you're already describing it, so you might as well say on the message yeah. icon. You understand? Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, so, so, so that I can create new message. You say new message now. You not put a before the new. <laughs> so I can create a new message. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. yeah. Okay, so as well as you're giving a Given I am an instructor on prep major, when I log into my account and I navigate through, okay, again. Yeah. Ah, you can. I feel in the 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 way that the the okay, it's not here. <laughs> I'm looking for you. I can view the side navigation panel. Mm -hmm. I click on the dashboard icon, mm -hmm. and I am redirected to the dashboard page, and I click on the message button. Mm, and I click, click on the new message button. Oh, okay. So there's I a message am... and then there's a new message. Okay. Yes. So when you get to the message, okay. And I click on the new message. That's supposed to be on my, and I'm redirected. 
Okay. And I click on the new message button. And the message button is supposed to take me to the message page. So, and I'm redirected. So this is supposed to come first. No, no, wait, 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 no, wait. And I click on the, this message is to create a message. And, okay, so when you click on the message button, what happens? So you... Oh, okay, yeah. I get what you mean. It should go before the other one. Okay, so take it yes. one line above. Okay. So when you click on the message button, it will redirect you to the send message page. So on that send message page, you will not click on new message. You will not put yes. in all your messages, blah, 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 and then click send. I know. No, so it takes me to the message page first. Okay. All right, so you can put Take that me one. to the message page. And I click on the new message button and I'm redirected to send message page. And I fill in the fill in all, all the input. That doesn't read really nicely. I fill in all the input. You know, so I enter in, you know. How do I okay? I enter in all the input. Okay. Or I type in my message, or I yeah, I enter in. Oh, I, I feel yeah, because it's not only message. Uh -huh. So I enter yeah. in. Oh, I feel I complete all the fields. Yeah, I complete okay. all the fields because your fields can be okay. Maybe who are you sending it to? What's the message? Whatever, 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 whatever. And I complete all the fields. Uh -huh. And then and I click on on I click the on the on the 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 send the send button. When you click on the send button, what happens? Then my message should be sent to the receiver. How will you know it's sent to the receiver? Okay. I don't know. I did not say it. But does it okay. happen? That's what I'm saying. That you get a confirmation. Like, you know, most of the yeah. time when you send them, you not say, um, your message has been sent successfully and all that and all that. 